So here we are in uh, Premiere Pro and uh, this is a completed video here and for uh, Project 5 in your layout what you're going to be doing is putting a screenshot from your video in your layout. Now the thing is how do you get a screenshot from your video? I'm going to show you that right here. So here's a timeline for a completed video. If I move the slider across it's going to have sound and I can decide where in this video that I want to pull a screenshot from. So, what I figure that I want to do for this one is I want to take the title card from it. So let me bring it all the way back here. And as you can see here on the screen, I have this. Now, this button that looks like a camera, that's the export frame tool. So if you click on that, it brings up export frame. You can name it, and I will name this project for image and <clears throat> you can pick you know a JPEG, bitmap, PNG, I'll pick JPEG and the path will be asking where you want to save it to, hit browse and I've already preset this up but it's in my project 5 folder I have here and so I'm going to select that folder and I'm unchecking here import into project because I'm not going to import it into the project here I'm just taking a screenshot so name the file pick the type JPEG here you know, choose the folder you're going to save it in browse do not import into project and say OK and then you can open up your folder that you saved it in and here you can see it here project 4 image it's a JPEG image I can double click it's a picture and then I can take that picture and put it into my layout for project 5 so here you are on the Fullerton dashboard and so what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on the button that says Dropbox you know the Dropbox for students and that's going to take you into your Dropbox however it may look on yours now I created a test folder here uh, so in your main Dropbox under all files you'll be there and you can go and click create if you click create and then create a folder and you can call it your project for folder or project for video whatever you want to name it and if you put only you you're the only one that has access to the folder and you can say create then it will take you into your folder when you do this what you can do is go to the upload button where you say upload files and it will look for wherever you are looking for your file and I have a file folder here and here's a video and I can click open and it will do the uploading of the video file and that shows you how long it's going to take to upload it so you know it's going to upload that it says about four minutes so we'll come back and I'll show you what to do with regard to the link uh, in the uh, Dropbox that you're going to be copying over. So now the video has been uploaded to Dropbox and what you're going to do is you're going to be creating a link for this that people looking at your portfolio will be able to click on and it'll bring you here but as you've set up your Dropbox the only person that can see this is you so if you go over here to the more on the tools here you can go 
to the share. You can also find this in the first icon, which is share. If you click on that, it will bring you into this setting here. Now what you can do is go to settings and people with this link can view. Well, there isn't a link for viewing, so you want to click create link and it will create a link. Then you have to decide who has access. In this pull down menu, you want to put anyone with the link. So if you click anyone with the link, that means that this link that you created, anyone with it can click on it and get to this video in your Dropbox. So if I click save, it brings me back to here and then it says copy link. If I click on copy link, it will copy the link and it shows you what that link is down at the bottom of the screen. And so this file has its own link and anybody that clicks on that link can get to it. So I'm going to show you by just opening up a web browser and and clicking on the link and it will be opening it up. So I click on another web browser here and if I paste the link in here enter and it will just bring me to the video in Dropbox. Now as you can see it says sign in, sign up. It doesn't know it's me. This is a different web browser than what I'm logged into Dropbox on. So by saying anyone with the link, it opens up this link and it's only the link. They can't get anywhere else. And it brings up this this preview window here for the video that you can play it. It tells you know who's the owner and the size of the video and everything. And if I hit play, it will play the video. Shortly after I got out of the melody. So that's how you're going to be using Dropbox in relation to Project 5 to be able to upload your video and then using the screenshot of your video in your layout for Project 5 and creating a hyperlink that will take the recipient to your uploaded video in your Dropbox with that shared, you know, through that shared link with that setting that anyone with the link can access the video. So here we are in the example for Project 5 we're in InDesign, which you have already used InDesign for Project 3, but in this case what we will be doing is utilizing it for interactive for PDF by putting in hyperlinks with your buttons and other items therein. Now what I want to show you here is in InDesign, going through, you have your table of contents, you have a profile picture, and you have your project set. You also have forward and back buttons that are their own links and each of these pages will be its own link and these are images from each of those projects. And a working Fullerton student email address in your biography. Now going through all the pages here, I'm going to bring your attention to the last one which is Project 4. Now with Project 4, I already have this all set up and I want to show you here about placing a, a frame for an image here and then going up to file and place and then I'm taking the project 4 image that I exported from Premiere Pro and placing it in there Now what I want to do is this image itself, I have it selected and I want to make a hyperlink. So if I go hyperlink 
and I can hit the create new hyperlink on here or if I right click on the image and say hyperlink and say new hyperlink it does the same thing so under link 2 I put URL and then I can paste the hyperlink I got when I did create the hyperlink from Dropbox. And then I click OK. And this image itself becomes a hyperlink. Now what I want to do as well is I want to put a little text underneath there. And I just typed out something simple like click image to view video online so the recipient would know that this is a hyperlink. So when you're all finished and you have the interactive PDF that you're going to export and open it up as a PDF, it will be a link. So if I go here for example, go to export and then under here and I say Adobe PDF instead of print on the pull down I'm going to put interactive if you put print, all the interactive functions that you put into your uh, layout won't work. And the point of Project 5 is to create an interactive PDF, which is your portfolio. So you have to select Adobe PDF Interactive. And you can save it. All your pages. Make sure that this button that says Spreads is selected. and it's exported the interactive PDF as a PDF and I just scrolled all the way down to here to the last window and click image to view video online as you can see moving over the image there is a finger and if I leave it it shows the link and if I click it it's asking you know it's gonna take me to this uh, website do I want to allow it I say allow and then it'll open up a web browser and take me to where I can play the video so this is how you can have a link for your video and as a Fullerton student you have access to um, Dropbox and you'll be able to host this video in your Dropbox account, create a link that you can share with anybody, primarily through this particular portfolio assignment. And be able to have the hyperlink that will take you to where the video is.